I got the van outside. Right then. What now? Nothing to keep me here, mate. Well, one thing. Aren't you going to stay and say goodbye to Tracy? Oh, you do it for me, will you? Tell her I'll, I'll see her when I can. Come on, mate. Bye, Ray. Look after yourself. You too. Oh, thank you. Thanks. There you go. Hey, British accent. He's one of yours, Vera. Hey, is it all? Thanks, Ray, isn't it? Ray Langton, Deirdre's husband. Oh, my God. Mrs. Duckworth? I don't believe it. I mean, what's it like? This city is just like one big reunion. <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, you've changed, haven't you? You haven't. Well, I'm not sitting moping. Vera could stuff it. This is the entertainment capital of the world, and I am going to enjoy myself even if it kills me. Better than being stuck at home. It does get boring having money. Oh, aye. I mean, that's why I'd be going on holiday, innit? To get away from it all. That takes me back. The rover's returned. On the end of Coronation Street. Well, it's called a street, but it's more of a crescent, an avenue, really. I mean, it's very upmarket, isn't that right? Uh, yeah. Well, I own it now, you know, the Rovers. Oh, right, sure. Of course you do. Mind you, well, look, it's still standing. Because just after you left, 79, weren't it? 78. All right. Deirdre left Tracy outside the Rovers and named the pram. All hell breaks loose because this lorry drove straight through the windows. <gasps> buried Tracy under two ton of planks. And oh. they, well, it didn't really because she'd been kidnapped two seconds before. My gosh, Vera, honey, what kind of a place do you live in? Oh, that's only the start. You won't believe what's happened since you've been gone. You got that right. I mean, I enjoy myself much, well. But now much happens in our neck of the woods. I mean, life at home is nice enough. <sighs> but by the heck, it's dull. She married a Moroccan. She's Mrs. Rashid now. Well, she was. Because he went to give Tracy a kidney, and he had no choice, because he's dead. Well, how did he die? Well, nobody knows. It's a mystery. Very ashush. See, as, as a lad, you think your life is, is going to be exciting, don't you? You know, fun and adventure. What do you get? Boredom. Yeah, and Emily Bishop. Do you remember her? Of course I do. Tracy's godmother. Oh, well. You think Ernie being shot would be enough, but no, she goes and marries Arnold Swain, who turns out to be a bigamist. Then he tries to take her in the suicide pact with him, and, well, me and Ivy were very upset. Weatherfield. It's the same one day as it is the next. Nothing exciting ever happens. Alan Bradley tried to murder Rita Fairclough, but then he got killed by a Blackpool tram. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Duckworth, it's the end of my shift and uh, I've got to go. It's been nice talking. Right, uh, and I'll give you all of today, Trey. Um, best not. Bit awkward, you know. Why? What have you been up to? Well, I got married in Amsterdam to a bloke called Raymond. <laughs> We've adopted three Vietnamese boat people. So uh, now I'm on run from the evil twin. <laughs> it's like a soap opera. <laughs> yeah. See ya. <laughs> oh. See ya. You know, Vera, honey. I really did have my suspicions about you in this tavern, you know, but nobody, nobody that I know on this earth could make up anything like this. Ha! And you've had one heck of an exotic life. <laughs> yeah, well, what will I tell you about Pet Gilroy? Oh, yeah, come on. Um, no more for a sad old drunk. Shot you. you are. Leave you to cook up some story with Doctor. <laughs> what are you missing then? 
and you get done up like that just to stand in the middle of roads. I'm missing my parents' wedding, thanks to you. Oh, looking to make an honest girl of you, are they? Take more than that. And when they find out why I'm missing it, you're going to wish you'd never driven into Weatherfield. Oh, I already do, sweetheart. Now it changes. There always was some hard piece up the street looking out to make trouble. I thought he'd gone. Not until she admits she's one lying cow. Tracy, are you all right? Where's Amy? Yeah, she's OK, no thanks to him. Ray! Good heavens. What, do you know him? Oh, yes, Tracy. I know him. Tracy? Yeah, well, he's an idiot and he's a menace. Oh, yes, he is. And he's also your father. You? You're my dad? Look at you. I don't believe this. He's just ploughed into Amy. Well, bad penny doesn't quite hit the spot, does it? Blanche, what are you doing here? Checking he's not killed his granddaughter. Or somebody wake me up, please. It's all right, love. I see your hair's given up the ghost. Quite the young buck, weren't you, with that unruly mop? It's been a long time. I'm an old man. Wow. Look at you. You stop saying that. Now what's wrong with this gene pool, Deirdre? Oh, for heaven's sake. That's right. Take the weight off your conscience. Hey, I can't believe it. Of all the gin joints, eh? Oh, not that much of a surprise to see them, surely. It's Weatherfield where you left them. What can I say? 